Hello, in this Bootstrap 4 video, we're going to show you tooltips. What are tooltips? Well, basically, they provide some information to the user when they hover over a certain element. You may have seen this in websites. Actually, you probably definitely have seen this in a website. You hover over something, give you some information about it or information about the website. Basically, it's a tooltip. So to implement it, it's really easy. We're going to use button. We can easily modify into an ahref or something else. But before you actually start creating your tooltip buttons, first of all, we need to do some setup. The first thing that we need to do is include a third party library called Teva. There will be a link in the description to their GitHub page where you can download the file from. I've already got it on the desktop, so I'm just going to be using that. And as this index file is located on the desktop. We can easily include it by doing script. Do one thing to note is Bootstrap needs this file for you to use tooltips. So make sure you include it before you include the Bootstrap JS. Just something to bear in mind. But source, I'm going to put Teva. Got to spell it correctly. JS. And the final piece to setting up is basically enabling tooltips because by default they're not enabled and the easy way to do it is just run some javascript code it's actually a mixture of javascript and jquery it actually it's jquery which is javascript sorry it's like it's, it's not like it's a hybrid it's Jav, jquery is written in javascript so by definition it's javascript okay and then in here put dollar function and what we're going to do, curly braces, semicolon, and in here, what you want to do is dollar. And in here, you're going to want to put square bracket data dash toggle equals tool tip. And I've put a quotation mark, I just need one of these instead. We already have a quotation mark at the start and the end. And we can press square bracket dot tooltip. Open and close bracket because it is calling a method. That's it to set it up. Now we can start coding our tooltip or tooltips, I should say. So in here, it's going to do button and we're going to put a type of button. We've got video covering buttons, so check them out because we're not really going to be explaining what we're doing here. Pre class do 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 VTN dash primary data dash toggle data dash placement equals and now this is where you would like your tooltip to appear. And for the first one, I'm going to put top. Oh, see Daisy, you forgot one thing. Title equals top tool tip. And now in here, I was going to put hover. for top and we can simply copy and paste this four times three times actually because we've already got it once and for this one we're just going to change this to bottom change this to left change this to right and change anything everything else as well so it just all matches up i think it's really easy to use two tips do, 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 do left right save refresh we got four buttons they look like ordinary buttons to me and that's because they are if I hover over the first one yeah the tooltip do not show that's that shouldn't be the tooltip so let's just go back and see what we missed oh data dash toggle this needs to be equal to tool tip because this is what is being enabled here 
So to save some time to copy and paste this. Oopsie daisy. I'm positive it's gonna work now, so if I refresh, hover, there you go, top tooltip, bottom tooltip, left tooltip, and right tooltip. So it's that easy to create tooltips, they're really useful for providing some basic information to the user. If you have any questions, feel free to post them on our education platform, sonarlearning.co.uk for slash question.php there'll be a link in the description there'll be another link in the description to the source code from this video please rate comment and subscribe as it really does help us grow and provide more content but also it helps us understand what you like and what you don't like about our content so in the future we can fix that and just keep great what you like so as usual thank you for watching and i hope you have a great day